The first suspect was placed in jail earlier today following an arrest made by the Hickory Police Department. The charges against him include kidnapping and assault. 29-year-old Tyree Dorian Reinhardt of 13th Avenue Drive Southeast in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police and charged with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, second-degree kidnapping, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of controlled substance on prison or jail premises, assault on a female, and assault on a government official or employee. Reinhardt was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility this morning under $63,500 bond. District and Superior Court appearances are scheduled for next Monday. An additional district court date is set for June 28th. 41-year-old Michael Bruce Isaacs of Young Road in Hickory was arrested yesterday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with larceny of a motor vehicle, possession of a stolen motor vehicle, and possession of stolen goods. Isaacs was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $9,000 bond. A district court appearance is scheduled for June 14th. A superior court date is set for June 21st. The next suspect was arrested and charged with being a no-show in court to answer to multiple charges. 40-year-old Robert Earl Setzer III of Balls Creek Road in Claremont was arrested by Hickory Police at about 2.45 Tuesday afternoon on three failure-to-appear warrants, two felonies and one misdemeanor. He reportedly failed to appear in court on two felony counts of possession of Schedule II controlled substance and one misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. The warrants for his arrest were issued May 10th. Setzer was taken into custody without incident at the Office of Adult Probation and Parole on 26th Street Southeast in Hickory. He was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility with bonds set at $15,000 secured. He has since been released. A superior court appearance is scheduled for July 19th in Newton. And reporting from Hickory, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News.